Hello, this is Chris, back again with another video. Many of you are still having a lot of problems with your Spark, and uh, you can't connect your phone to the Spark or connect your remote to the Spark or both. Well, I'm going to have a quick tutorial on how to fix these issues so you'll get used to it and you can do it yourself. Okay, I'm in my kid's bedroom so I could have some room to fly around uh, before we get the kids from school. So anyway, uh, I had some questions uh, in the comments and in my emails on how to um, connect uh, their phone to the Spark. And I figured it out last night and I put it in a video but I thought I could tried to duplicate what I did. So hopefully it works again. I charged the batteries on the remote and on the drone. So first of all, uh, I haven't even tested it yet again. So hopefully it works. Let's turn it on. Pretty sure that uh, you can see uh, my phone and you can see what I'm doing here. Now, um, I am connected to my Wi-Fi at the moment, but let's see if uh, we can see the spark. All right. All right, so you do not see the spark on there, do you? Let's wait a couple seconds, and we still don't see it. Now, when I turned airplane mode on that's when it showed up so let's uh, where is it airplane mode where are you airplane mode all right so I turned it on and now my Wi-Fi is off so I'm turning Wi-Fi back on and maybe we'll see the spark Maybe. Yes, we see the spark. The spark is right there. And it is now connected. So that is how I connect uh, the phone. This is a Samsung S7 Edge to the, the spark. I think there's something transmitting or something that's not allowing the spark to have the signal or whatever. Uh, get through the phone so now let's go to DJI go face aware successful aircraft will take off take off so it's pretty cool you can have your hand out here calm control in process Now I would like to switch back to the sticks. So how do you do that? Oh, so oh, you just don't see the sticks, okay? Turn around. So next, let me see if remote will now connect. So I'm going to do my normal process here. 
and see if it connects to the drone now. And if not, it, it, it shouldn't be a problem. I know how to do that. I'm going to disconnect my phone, which I should do. It to, I'm connected to the Spark. But now I want to connect to the controller. So now I'm going to click that, and I should be connecting to the Spark controller RC. All right. And let's just see if the green light comes on. Okay, so now it says that is connected, but we still don't have a red uh, light there. So now I am going to, let's see here, turn the aircraft off. So now it's off. I'm connected to the controller. That doesn't work. Um, A few moments later. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this off again. Yes, I'm going to do this again. All right. So now I'm going to do what I did before, which is press this, this, and this. All right, so it's the pause button, the function button, and the C1 or a little bit of beep beep. Now I'm going to turn the controller on, or not the controller on the. Okay. Now I'm going to hold down until I hear one beep. I heard one beep. Come on, baby. Maybe I need to hear two beeps. Oh, see that? It's only the one beep. It's only the one beep. Now, let's go to DGI. Ah. Go for. All right, yes, we have it. That's it. Okay? So if you have any questions, uh, please leave some in the comments below. All right, I'll put this on Mobazen as well. All right, so. That's cool. We can take off again. Take off. Okay, so we have connected. 5.8 gigahertz. Alright, so I figured out you can um, Wi-Fi um, and going to 2.4 gigahertz or uh, 5.8 uh, I went back to the original password usually your passwords gonna be one two three four one two three four I do recommend uh, changing that but if you want to switch from like 2.4 gigahertz to 5.8 uh, you go to custom and you look on uh, the bar graph here and you can really find out uh, the signals that are going to work for you. So I chose number six. It seemed like it was the most stable at the time. Um, so that's 2.4 gigahertz, right? Yes. But if you want to go higher, let's go to 149. 
oh, sorry, there we go, 149. And I believe that's going to be 5.8. And your uh, FPV turns off and then it will be back on in a moment. Okay, so it still says 2.4 gigahertz, but um, let's see here. Oh, so it's back at six. Oh, so here you can say avail available channel. Oh, it went away. Okay, so I think now it switched. Yes, so now it's at 5.8 um, G there. Okay, just to double check, um, I'm gonna have to unlink it to my controller again. So, um, in order to fly it with my phone. So let's do that again. Recording? Okay, so um, I was just curious if I would have to unlink it from my controller again, and it looks like I do. So uh, I still have it in airplane mode. I'm still connected to my uh, Wi-Fi in the house, so let's just do it again. I'm gonna put it on mobile Zen so we can have like a dual video thing. Is it on? Yes. Okay, so again, you're gonna just hold down on the battery button until you hear two beeps. That's one. And it should pop on. And if it doesn't, then it means I have to turn the Wi-Fi off and then turn it back on. But here it is, Spark. Spark popped up. All right, now it's connecting. Okay, so that's what you're going to have to do if you want to use the controller and the phone. Some days you're probably gonna to wanna to use the phone if you just wanna go for a jog or uh, whatever, so you have some way to control your drone if, um, if your gestures aren't working. Um, and other days, you're gonna to wanna to use the controller if you want a bit more distance, uh, a bit more, uh, I don't know. Some people prefer flying with this than they do with the phone, so they're just gonna to wanna to use that. But anyway, I'm gonna find myself switching back and forth quite a bit, and you're just gonna to have to, uh, you know, know the routine on how to um, unlink your remote or unlink uh, your phone. So anyway, hopefully this is helpful. Again, let's uh, go back and make sure we are uh, connected here. It should be. So go to DJI Go, we're at. check out that WLAN or whatever later and make sure that uh, it's not going to make everything go haywire but as you can see we're all connected and everything and that's the process that you're going to have to do. Alright, please like, subscribe and more videos to come.